We are learning new details about the tow truck driver who was speeding when he crashed into a car, killing a six month old baby inside. And today that truck driver is in court facing felony charges. Fox 26 is Natalie. He live with the latest on this case. Natalie. Yeah, Jonathan, the accident happened in Northwest Harris County just yesterday morning. That tow truck driver expected to have his first court appearance today. The one from this morning actually postponed till this afternoon because the judge asked prosecutors for more information. And today we're also learning that the suspect has a criminal history. 39 year old Jose Luna appeared in court Monday, charged with manslaughter and aggravated assault. Harris County investigators say Luna was behind the wheel of a speeding tow truck Sunday that crashed into the back of a car at a red light, killing six month old Ulysses Romero. Authorities say 21 year old Melvin Romero and 19 year old Espedi Linares were also inside the car but survived. We are very careful when we consider whether to, to issue a license to someone, um, especially when they have a criminal conviction history. Digging into his past, Jose Luna has a criminal history tracing back more than 20 years. Luna has been a state licensed tow truck operator for nearly five years. We'll look at the age of the person when they committed the crime, um, the seriousness of the offense. How long has it been since they were convicted of, of that crime? And, you know, have they reoffended? A spokesperson for the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation says every applicant with a criminal record is closely reviewed. This particular gentleman had a conviction for sexual assault from 20 plus years ago. And uh, there was a conviction, I believe, for possession of a controlled substance from about 10 or 12 years ago. It had been several years. He had not, as far as we knew, reoffended, had not been back in the system for that. Um, and he met the other criteria. So we decided to go ahead and, and give him a license. So the question that we have from our perspective is how many other Jose Lunas are out there that are registered sex offenders or violent offenders that have either been approved now, authorities don't believe alcohol or drugs played a factor in this crash. The company that Luna worked for is called Classic Towing. They tell me that Jose Luna has now been fired. Natalie He reporting, Fox 26 News.